Representative Mark Sanford was fighting for his political life even before Trump's Twitter message. A late intervention by President Donald Trump helped sink Rep. Mark Sanford's bid for re-election in South Carolina's first congressional district on Tuesday night, handing a Republican primary victory to a state rep. Katie Arrington Arrington had attacked Sanford, a strident conservative and member of the House Freedom Caucus, for his frequent criticisms of the president. Trump himself tried to deliver a finishing blow with a Tuesday afternoon tweet dismissing Sanford as unhelpful and reminding voters of a past scandal involving the then South Carolina governor and his then girlfriend from Argentina. Mark Sanford has been very unhelpful to me in my campaign to MAGA. He is Mia and nothing but trouble. He is better off in Argentina. I fully endorse Katie Arrington for Congress in SC, a state I love. She is tough on crime and will continue our fight to lower taxes. Vote, Katie, Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, June 12, 2018 Trump also explained his rationale for weighing in early Wednesday, my political representatives didn't want me to get involved in the Mark Sanford primary thinking that Sanford would easily win, but with a few hours left I felt that Katie was such a good candidate, and Sanford was so bad, I had to give it a shot. Congrats to Katie Arrington, Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, June 13, 2018 Sanford's defeat is a political victory for the president, showing his ability to convince a Republican base that worships him to follow his preferences in other races, even when his endorsement arrives just three hours before the polls close. Trump's popularity with Republican primary voters has been enough to drive other interest GOP Trump antagonists, like Arizona Sen. Jeff Flake, into retirement. Sanford is in his second stint representing the 1st District, which includes the Low Country and the city of Charleston. He'd earlier held the seat from 1995 to 2001, he won it again in a 2013 special election. In between, he served two terms as governor, Arrington defeated Sanford by focusing on his record of critiquing the president. He's called for Trump to release his tax returns, described the president's use of violent rhetoric as a problem, and called his alleged affair with Stormy Daniels deeply troubling. In television ads, Arrington turned those attacks on Trump against the incumbent, enough is enough, she said in one ad after a montage of Sanford's cable news criticisms of the president. How can Mark Sanford get anything done if he spends all his time on TV making enemies? Sanford responded by touting his conservative bona fides. He had a 100% rating from the club for growth, a 86% rating from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce and a 96% rating from the American Conservative Union in 2016 and by attacking Arrington for supporting tax hikes while in the state legislature. The 1st District is safely Republican. Sanford won it with 59% of the vote in 2016. Trump defeated Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton by 14 points, but only won 54% of the vote, the lowest of any of South Carolina's GOP-controlled House districts. Democrats are hopeful Drew Cunningham, an ocean engineer who has already declared he won't support House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, can make the race competitive. Download Do You Have Information You Want to Share with HuffPost? Here's how.